Welcome and thank you again for subscribing to our short video series. So today I am going to explain how to invest in real estate using other people's money. So let's get into it. In order to invest in real estate with other people's money, we first need to know what an SDRA is. So what is an SDRA? It stands for Self-Directed Retirement Account. And this can be an IRA, both traditional or Roth, a 401k if you're self-employed through your S Corp or through your LLC. It can be some rollover options, your 403b, 401ks, IRAs. These can be rolled over into something that's self-directed. So what does self-directed mean? Self-directed means you can invest in anything that is allowed by law. And at the current time of this recording, the things to stay away from would be collectibles. So you can't invest in wine, old wines or paintings and some of the other collectible items. You can lend money out of your self-directed IRA. You can offer a return on the investment to private lenders. So I'm gonna give you examples of how to use this for yourself and how to use other people's retirement accounts to invest in real estate. There are some obstacles to make sure to be aware of and to avoid. These are some hurdles that you just need to be aware of. We call them prohibited transactions. So there are three. The first prohibited transaction is called per se, which basically outlines who and who you cannot do a deal with using your self-directed retirement account. The second prohibited transaction is extension of credit. You cannot guarantee a loan. Your self-directed retirement account cannot guarantee a loan. So if there has been an extension of credit, it is considered a prohibited transaction. And the third prohibited transaction is self-dealing. So this deal, whatever you invest in with your self-directed retirement account cannot benefit you as the person of the self-directed retirement account. Prohibited transactions stop most new and beginning real estate investors. And I often ask myself, why is that? Well, the laws are complex. The purpose of this video is not to teach you about these laws and to teach you about the prohibited transactions, but just to inform you that they're there and that you need to understand the IRS laws and regulations and the SEC regulations before trying to structure any deals with your own or someone else's self-directed retirement account. But I just want this to be clear that prohibited transactions, they're all learnable and they are avoidable. So some people might think that it's not worth the time, it's not, it's not worth the effort that you have to put in to learn what is allowed by law and what isn't. But let me just share the reason why you should spend some time on this and learn how to structure deals using a self-directed retirement account. There's over $9.2 trillion in IRAs alone within the US. All the money that you could possibly ever want are in retirement accounts. Some are already self-directed, some aren't. And so when you become educated in this topic, you can now begin to raise capital much more efficiently because you know what you're looking for and how you're going to structure those deals. So that's why you should spend some time on this. So I'm gonna explain a self-directed retirement account and how you can structure a typical deal and what that would look like. So this is what you would call a, a self-directed retirement account partnering with a business. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say you take a, an old retirement account, you roll it over into something that's called a third-party custodian your retirement account now becomes self-directed. You can invest in anything allowed by law. Well, you meet an investor, an investor who knows a lot about fixing and flipping properties. You trust them, you read their projections, and you believe in this investor. You're confident in what they can do. So you negotiate and you create a partnership and you form a new company and we'll call this company New Company LLC and your shares and your profits all need to be negotiated within your operating agreements at the time of incorporating this entity. What you're going to do is now you're gonna take an initial investment 
coming from the self-directed retirement account and you're gonna invest it in a distressed property. You're gonna fix the property, you're gonna rehab the property, and you're going to sell the property, making a return on your investment. So when you make this return on your investment, it goes back to the company, and then the profits are split depending on your operating agreement. So let's say in this scenario, you have a 50-50 split. So 50% of that return on this property goes back to the self-directed retirement account tax-free and then the other 50% goes to the investor as a share of that profit. So this is a really cool example of how you can use other people's money as the investor and now I'm going to show you how to invest and make an insane return on your investment with your own self-directed retirement account. So let's say you open up a brand new self-directed retirement account with a third-party custodian and you deposit $1 in the account. Your self-directed retirement account has $1. So your self-directed retirement account with your checkbook control ability starts finding distressed properties and homeowners to work with. So we meet a distressed homeowner. They're in a bad place. They're about to be foreclosed on. They're gonna to have to possibly go through bankruptcy and ruins their credit. So you and your personal self-directed retirement account step in and negotiate and create a contract. And what you're going to do is you're going to create a subject to financing contract. And simply put, all that means is you're gonna take over their current mortgage. Maybe you have to recover some past due payments, they deed the house to you and you start making their mortgage payment to the banks. And in the process, you're going to help them in whatever way or scenario that you negotiated within the contract. Maybe they need to find a new apartment or another place to live, or they need a down payment for the, the new place that they're going to go. However that contract is created, you negotiate those terms and you take over the payments and have, and take over ownership of that house using the mortgage that was in place. Then you take a rehab investment, you make a rehab investment, maybe with other people's money, maybe even just with a 0% credit card, and you put it into a property and you fix up that property. Then you sell that property for a return on your investment. And you need to determine if you're fixing and flipping a property, what's the minimum amount of money that you would need to make to make it worth your while. And then you sell that property and that, that profit goes back to your self-directed retirement account that started with $1. And for me, a $30,000 profit is the minimum that I would do a fix and flip. And so your self-directed retirement account is deposited $30,000 tax-free by negotiating and um, structuring this deal subject to existing financing. So you invest $1 with your self-directed retirement account and you grow it to $30,000 tax-free by using your self-directed retirement account. I don't know if you know, so the annual contribution limits in 2019 are $6,000 to your IRA if you're 49 or younger, and $7,000 a year if you are 50 or older. So with this one real estate transaction, this self-directed retirement account grew five times the annual contribution amount tax-free. So this is how you accumulate wealth. And I, I don't know many mutual funds that can produce a $30,000 gain in one year, let alone 45 to 90 days like this fix and flip would have normally taken. So these are some great strategies that you can start incorporating into your own business. In the process of all this, you save the homeowner from foreclosure and bankruptcy. So a lot of people ask, well, why would a homeowner do that? They're in a bad place. It's a distressed property. They're trying to get out of the current situation that they're in. And that's all real estate investing is, is solving problems for homeowners. So what are some action steps that you can start taking to work on structuring your deals this way? 
you need to first invest further in your education, your financial education, if these are concepts that are foreign to you or that you maybe have heard, but you're not exactly sure how to pursue them. The second thing you need to do is consult with a real estate attorney. I am not a real estate attorney. I am just sharing concepts that I know work. It's up to you to confirm these with a, a professional, a licensed professional. Research and select a good third party custodian. A third party custodian is going to be the institution that accounts the funds within your self-directed retirement account and will give you checkbook control. Also research and select a non-recourse lender. These are lenders that will lend to self-directed retirement accounts. They have different prerequisites and requirements to receive a loan through your self-directed retirement account. And there are some nuances to that, but these are some action steps that you can take. So look what happens when you become resourceful. As you become educated on self-directed retirement accounts, you can start demonstrating your knowledge by taking action, edifying, teaching, and educating people on these concepts, maybe within your circle of family and friends who have retirement accounts that are earning a 4% return in the stock market, you can begin to start offering higher returns using their retirement accounts as the investor and creating a new company LLC with them. It takes time. It takes commitment. It takes persistence to learn these rules and regulations because not only are you at risk if you are found in a prohibited transaction, but you're also the retirement account that you're working with or partnering with. So be careful. And as you become resourceful, you're going to be able to leverage an entire network, whether that's leveraging investors as the, the financers or leveraging other people's time, other people's money, other people's credit. Become resourceful if you don't have any resources in terms of money, time, credit, relationships. So is there a solution for all of this? The solution is EPIC, which stands for education, properties, income, and community. And you've seen this in another video possibly. Education, we're not talking about going to school, getting good grades, and getting a career. We're talking about learning from seasoned investors and practitioner instructors on concepts that we are not taught in school. We are not taught to fix and flip properties, how to invest in passive income. So learn those strategies by investing in financial education. Learn from these seasoned investors and practitioner instructors how to find and fund deals using other people's money, OPM. Always remember that acronym. And in the process, earn $1,000 to $10,000 a month while you learn from investors and become a successful investor yourself with the support and mentorship of a nationwide community. So if this is something that you are looking for, trying to leverage a network, leverage other people's money, earn money while you're learning these skills and becoming a seasoned and experienced investor, then I encourage you to click below to schedule a discovery call with me or a colleague. And on the call, what we'd like to do is learn a little bit more about you, your current business plan, and your current business model, and what some of the obstacles you're currently faced with, and see if our team is a good fit to help you work through those obstacles. Also on the call, what we'd like to do is demonstrate some of the tools, some of the systems and resources that we have available to see if they would benefit you and your business plan and get you to where you want to be. If these are concepts that are foreign and new to you, I encourage you to click below to schedule that call. And I, what we'll do is, is structure a, an action plan for you so that you can start hitting the ground running. I look forward to our call and helping you in any way that I can. Guys, to your success, I will see you in another video.